So do you ever wonder what it would feel like to be completely stress-free around food? So hi everyone, Christine here, your mind and body empowerment coach. I hope that this video finds you all well. So today I am going to go over my top three reasons why making peace with food is awesome, okay? So first of all, there's definitely more than three reasons, but I just picked the top three that I felt most people who watch this video would probably resonate with, okay? So my very first top reason is that I no longer count things, okay? I don't count calories, not just in terms of food, but you know, when I'm working out, moving my body, I also don't count and see how many calories I'm burning, okay? I also don't count fat grams or carbs. I don't count steps. I haven't weighed myself in over two years, actually three years maybe. Um, so I really don't work with numbers when it comes to my body, okay? So that has been a massive, massive, massive weight lifted off of my shoulders, I'm not gonna lie. So that's my first reason. Second reason is that I no longer heavily obsess about food. Now, it's not to say that, you know, thinking about food or enjoying food or looking up recipes, cooking, watching food shows, none of, there's nothing wrong with any of that. It doesn't mean you have a problem. You will always know if it's a healthy versus an unhealthy sort of relationship there, okay? Because oftentimes when you are restricting food, this is a way that your brain will let you know that you need to eat, that your body is probably starving, okay, in some capacity. So you will probably start to heavily daydream and obsess and maybe even start craving food even when you're not, when you don't think you're physically hungry but your body is actually starving, okay? It's nutrient deficient. Um, so yes, and you may even find yourself, like I said, like obsessively watching, I don't know, cooking channels, uh, looking up recipes, maybe even watching other people eat. And again, that's an extreme case, but it could happen. So that no longer exists for me and I could not be more grateful. Um, and my third top reason is that I can finally enjoy being with friends and family, whether it be a celebration or just a little get together out to dinner. Um, it is such a game changer for me because I have to tell you, there's a lot of uh, things from my past and, and times that I was with my family and friends that I don't even remember because I was so heavily focused on food and my body and, you know, should I eat this? Should I eat that? If I eat that, what is it going to do to my body? You know, does this outfit look okay on me? What are people thinking? Um, what kind of workout am I going to have to do tomorrow to burn off everything that I'm eating? And I was so focused on all of that stuff that I was never fully present with my friends and family. And there's a lot of memories that I should have that I don't have, unfortunately, because of that reason. So that is no longer there for me. And I can finally be with my friends and family and be as present as I possibly can and really enjoy myself and just give myself unconditional permission to eat, to relax, to have fun, to breathe, um, and to just live my life. And that is pretty much, I mean, you can't put a price tag on that. There's nothing better than that, right? So anyway, those are my top three reasons why making peace with food is awesome. I hope that you found them helpful. Let me know down in the comments below. Um, and until next time, I wish you a fabulous week and I'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye.